Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're going to be looking at the or continuing the AP Calculus 2015 free response question. So here is number two. Let f and g be the functions defined by f of x is this and g of x is this. Let r of s be the two regions enclosed by the graphens f and g is shown in the figure above. Find the sum of the area of the regions r and s. So I need to know the points of intersection first of all. Um, because that will help me deduce the bounds of my integral because I want the area of this region and the area of this region and I kind of need to know um, which one is f and which one let's let's just plot this on the calculator now that I have a calculator that you guys can see um, let me delete the previous problem I was doing um, now that I have a calculator you guys can see like I think it will make it um, uh, makes more sense to do it So let's 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 plot the first one. Um, I have oops. Um, what am I? One plus x plus e to the x squared minus two x. Okay, and um, clearly I've zoomed in too much. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's the first one. And then I have x to the fourth minus 6.5x squared plus 6x plus 2. Ugh. Uh, minus 6.5x squared plus 6x plus 2. Okay, so f is the this bottom one. So like this one here is f and this one here is g. Okay, I just kind of wanted to confirm that a little bit. Um, just to uh, have that handy. Um, now I want to find the point of intersection. So I want to know, um, I wonder if I can do this. F of x minus g of x. Oh, that's so fancy. Look at that. I can do the subtraction of the two. And I can find uh, the zeros. Like the zeros are where the, these two are equal to each other. So you can kind of see like down here, this is the point I'm looking for. 1.033 so this occurs at 1.033 and the y value there um, in terms of I want to do f of 1.033 is 2.401 okay not that that's really important, but that's the, that's the, okay. So um, the area of R, I'll do it over here. The area of R, let's see, R would be the area from zero to 1.033, the top function minus the bottom function. So it would be G minus F. Okay. Um, so, and then um, the S region would be the area from 1.033 to 2. In this case, F is on top. So I do F of X minus G of X DX. Okay. So that's kind of the setup of the two, uh, what I want to do. So I want to evaluate the integral of g of x minus f of x from 0 to 1.033 plus the integral of f of x minus g of x, the bounds 1.033 to 2. I get r plus x equals 2.0, what was that? Um, 2.004. Okay, simple enough. The GeoGebra is nice because it defined the functions for me, and then I could just simply use them. So it made it a lot faster. I, you may not, you may or may not be able to do that on your calculators as fast. But region S is the base of a solid whose cross sections are perpendicular to the x-axis are squares. Find the volume of the solid. Okay. Um, so in this region. 
we're taking a representative slice here and we're making a square. So I always think of what's the volume of the square that I just constructed. Like the width of this square is dx, right? The height of the square is, so if I think of like this little square that I'm making, it has a thickness here. The dimensions are dx. Now the height of this square is um, f of x minus g of x, right? And because it's a square, um, this side is also f of x minus g of x, right? So the volume, I write it as dv, which is that the, the little volume of this little square is the, is the f minus x minus g of x squared times the thickness dx, right? This is, this is the area of the square times the thickness of the square. That gives me the volume. Then I want to add up all of the volumes. And I want to add up the volumes of all the squares between x equals 1.033 and 2. And that's it. So let's put this into the GeoGebra calculator. I'm going to say um, um, the integral of f of x minus g of x squared integrate from 1.033 to 2. And I get minus at 1.283. Okay, find the volume. Okay, now C, let H be the vertical distance between the graphs F and G in region S. So it's this side here. Find the rate at which H changes with respect to X. Okay, so H of X is equal to F of X minus G of X. I want to know what H prime of X is. That's simply F prime of X minus g prime of x, and then I'm going to plug in 1.8, okay? f prime, I can do this derivative by hand, derivative 1 is 0, derivative x is 1, plus the derivative of this, derivative of e to the anything is just that e to the, that anything, time, but the, since this, this part isn't just x, I got to take the derivative of it by chain rule, that's 2x minus 2, okay, so that's f prime, g prime is this one, it's 4x cubed minus 2 times 6.5 is 13x plus 6. Okay, so then I want to do h of prime of 1.8. So I want to take all these values and just plug in 1.8 into it. That's pretty much just the wrong thing there. So we are going to do, I'd probably just do this by hand. 1 plus e to the 1.8 squared minus 2 times 1.8 times 2 times 1.8 minus, minus 2 minus, um, I'm going to enter it separately because, um, let's see, 4 times 1.8 cubed minus 13 times 1.8 plus, plus 6. And I got minus 3.812. Okay, so let's take a look at um, the scoring solutions. Um, I get the intersection point 1.033. The area is 2.004 because I did these integrals correctly. Volume is 1.283. Is that what I got? Yep. And then h prime of x is minus 3.812. Perfect. All right. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next free response question. 
Thanks for watching the video, guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.